the Segway Villain SX10WX. It is the 72 inch wide model, 102 inch wheelbase, nice, nice shocks on it. Big, heavy, heavy shocks. Got the reservoirs up top here for adjustment. Um, everything's all powder coated, which I'm very, very happy about. Comes with um, rock sliders. Look at how wide and big them beefy them shocks are. Quad link suspension. Not very happy with that little teeny weeny bumper, so I will be doing something about that. Um, comes with beadlock tires, 30 inch. They're stags, but they're good enough for now. 1000 cc dual overhead cam. Half doors for now, no fender flares. 105 or 107 horsepower, which I'm pretty happy about that. That's a lot more than the uh, CF Moto. And um, the clutches feel so good. I mean, look at the size of them A-arms, man. Holy mackerel. They are beef, man. They are beef. Comes with a roof. Comes with a 4,500 pound winch. Um, looking forward to getting this out in the trails. I haven't done any trail riding with it yet. I'm not very happy about the door. I don't know if you can tell, but man, that does not open very much. So from here to here is only like 36 inches, three feet. Don't get me wrong. They're solid. There's no rattle in them. They're nice and solid. It comes with retractable um, four link hookup. The other side comes with the same uh, four link hookup on the um, on the seat belts, but they're not retractable. That's that's not that big of a deal. It comes with a the dashboard. Mm, let's get that on. It even plays a little movie for you. And then it goes into the regular stuff with all your diagnostics and stuff. The comes with the console in the center the so I think it's a seven by nine I'm not sure let that warm up it does have LED lights all the way around it they look like car lights they're calling it the Tesla of side by sides I'm my guess that's a good enough fame for it really shiny clean unfortunately it'll never look like this again so let's take a seat on the inside the seats do move forward and backward with ease the steering wheel is tilt a lot easier to get in and out than the uh, moto you got setting buttons which tells you your system settings which I'm not really worried about all that stuff. Tells you if you're tilted, and you can see I am tilted a little bit on this hill. It's gonna give me a full power, speed, acceleration. It's gonna tell my torque turns. Here, you can even load your maps. I'm gonna be loading maps in this. You got your phone, Bluetooth hookup, which is not hooked up yet, but it will be. And it comes with a FM radio. Now it is Bluetooth speakers only, which is fine. I do not have any in it. It doesn't come with them, but I do not listen to much radio or anything like that. But I will probably put a small, small something in here just for the wife because she said she liked it. So let's see. We have the headlights here on and off. Um, high beam, low beam. This is the old fashioned four wheel drive stuff from, from whatever, you know, the older units. It is a push start, has a horn, has sport and economy. Um, your old shit bar and the other old shit bar on the passenger side. I do like the glove box. It's huge, man. I can put a two gallons of milk and a loaf of bread in there. That's nice. 
I do like the strap on it that holds it shut. Um, it has plenty of headroom. Not that it, I don't know if you can see, but I got tons of headroom here. Doors are solid, man. I mean, really, they're solid. There's no rattle in anything. So I'm pretty excited about it. I mean, the powder coating is just phenomenal, man. I think it's going to be a big dirt collector. But SC1 will take care of that because before I go out riding anywhere, anytime, I'm going to SC1 the unit. Just am. This little muffler, though. Ah, I don't know about that thing. That may have to take a hike. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that. But we'll figure that out. But guys, here it is. Oops. Dry wells. There's dry wells in here for keeping stuff dry. One on either side. One on either side. I mean, look at, look at how beefy that hose is for the reservoirs, man. And look at the size of these. I mean, my goodness. They were huge. They're probably two and a half inches thick. Heavy duty, they didn't go cut no corners on the hose either, on the connections. Shocks are just a beast, man. I mean, they are so nice. Oil filter right there. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Um, these little plastic shock guards, though. That beats nothing, I guess. But it stands as a whole. It's nice. Very nice looking unit. I like it a lot. And I am not going to be taking it for the first ride yet, not till next Saturday, so I have to wait, just like everybody else, to see how it does. Uh, I've got mirrors for it already. I've got your lights to go on the top. I do need to get a bar light for it, but all in all, man, this unit just seems so good, solid, rock solid. All the reviews I've watched from Adrenaline Junkie from two years ago, um, Shock Therapy, um, just other videos. Dirt Tracks TV did two videos on it, and um, they just liked it. They said after 600 miles of hard use on the trails that they still didn't have any rattles in it. But I think theirs was a 64-inch model. This is the 72, like I said. Man, look at the size of them shocks. I guess I'm just not used to that. I'm used to little rinky-dink things on the uh, CF Moto. But the doors, got to get some doors in the bottom. It does come with gas cap on this side and this model will eventually get an EV where it's going to get a boost of whatever so it's going to have a charging station on this side and gas on the other side and I think they're supposed to produce like 220 or 240 horsepower honestly guys I don't need that this is plenty good um, for what I'm going to do before them turbos kick in I'm already moving so I'm not worried about it so guys here it is it's the um 2023 Segway Villain SX10 WX 1000cc dual overhead cam and man I'm itching to get out there alright guys like and subscribe man we're going to be doing some stuff with this and uh, hopefully um, this one lasts me longer than the moto peace out God bless